It's How many people are? 100 on the tech group tech. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> There's a hundred hardcore riders on the encrypted text message service. It yeah. literally is how every like terrorist movie, there's like sleeper cells where the yeah. terrorists just sit there and wait for years sometimes until <laughs> they get marching orders. Barstool Pick'em, we are back and is brought to you by our friends at Game Time, the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports created by fans for fans. Game Time is a ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals to tickets to sports, concert shows. They guarantee the lowest price. We were in Alabama this past weekend. A bunch of people use Game Time. I use Game Time. Flash deal took everyone on the yak to the Cubs game. Uh, it's all possible with the Game Time app. The biggest last-minute price drops can be found on the seats. You thought you could never buy. They'll even credit you 110% of the seat price if you can find a better deal elsewhere. I did have that happen to me. Say it again. I, uh, I bought tickets to the Cubs to bring my son on Labor Day. And uh, the the initial original seller backed out last second. Game time gave me better seats, same price. So they're like, "Don't worry about it. You we, we'll we'll hook it up. We'll make sure you're set." So game time is the best out there. They take care of the customers. Skip the hassle. Enjoy the moment. <laughs> Dave's here. <laughs> it's That's crazy. Flush in the toilet. Oh, it, Dave, wait, wait you till you said it. And I wait till you That's hear. Insane. We're doing this early enough, but wait till you hear when the when the fellas take the lunch break, they play like floor hockey right next to. I've her. heard about that. And there's yeah. also an. It, we were doing PMT the other day. There was just an air horn, the loudest air horn ever. Uh, all right, so back to game time. Skip the hassle. Go right now. Enjoy the moment. Download the game time app or go to the website. Enter your email. Redeem code Pickem for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms apply. Code Pickem for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms apply. All right. Hockey season coming up too. Maybe get the guys some tickets. You know. You want to go to the game? No, Dan. They're floor hockey guys. Helps the sponsor. Oh, Natural that's transition. a callback joke. They got to be My hockey bad. guys. Uh, pick them. Week three. We're in person. Yep. Part of me wanted to tank this show just for the people who complain about the Zooms. I, I make actually, this the most boring show ever and be like, it sucks when we're in Weirdly, person. I actually think Zoom is probably a better setup. It's Because I'm there, I assume. Yes, you're yeah, right there. This is yeah. like kind of a weird setup. It's a weird... Actually, can we push Dave... Here, stand up. Let's push your chair back a little because that was where... The cool throne was. Uh, yeah, there we go. It also, I I think that Zoom, it goes back to the rundown days. There is definitely yeah. a little more contention in Zoom when, like, you can kind of go at each other and, like, not have to, like, be standing right next to yeah. each other. Um, all right, but we're all back together. We're all here. They want a little bit closer. We got a lot to discuss. Rico, Good. I want to. I want to start with this. Start well, with no, the bad. No, we'll, start we'll, with we, the bad. We have some other stuff to discuss. And then we'll go to the picks and we'll All go right. with the bad. I want to say congratulations to Rico Bosco. There has finally now been a person who has left Barstool Sports that Rico didn't squeeze out. The Mean Girls. So that's that's growth. Nice job. That's growth. In the that past, growth. that would have been your squeeze out. Yeah. It was someone else's squeeze. We have like a um a board like kills at the office like <laughs> Minahan, Keegs and and Rico. Actually, we should have you you ever see those like infographs where it's like over time. So it would be like uh yeah, like college basketball wins. wins. Yes. Yeah. And it will be like Kansas and Kentucky and then all of a sudden here comes Duke in the 80s and then they we should do that where it's like all these guys and then Bosco from from out of nowhere <laughs> goes right up to 20 kills. I got to say, uh, yeah, I got to say, after watching you put the pressure on people and them being in the gauntlet, like it was nice to be on the street. Just having absolutely nothing. No, not watching the death, but having absolutely nothing to do. Like when they start rounding up murder suspects, I didn't worry that they were going to knock on the door. Right. It's like, uh, is it Tommy? Tommy in Casino? When he goes, yeah, there was 50 murders and they asked him about all of them and he dodged all. Like he knew he was still getting a knock on the door. Right. I think I'm at like maybe three months away from at least getting knocks on the door yeah so we'll see yeah either way bosco we were sitting out beforehand and dave said bosco's most improved he, he he's had a good run he is uh not somebody right now who's on on the list of you know got to improve or do things better so how was the dinner with nate Oates last night <laughs> no so I, I what i was saying to you dave is <laughs> i you were like bosco got on a flight at 4 a.m he, he he deserves a ton of credit for that coming out here uh I offered, I have a guest room in my house. I said, Bosco, if you want to come out on Tuesday night, you can stay in my house, which 
That's a big offer. Yep. Huge. To have him staying in my house. Huge. Who knows what's going to happen? Uh, How hard was that sell to No, I didn't even sell it. Really? No, Uh, yeah. You would have just been able to stay. It's in the basement, so it's far away. Yeah, I think she reads the newspapers, too. You just never even mentioned it to her. No, I never mentioned it to her. I would have had you come. Oh, you would have set me up and come upstairs for breakfast? Yeah, probably. I probably would have had you come in at like 10 o'clock. She was already in bed. Would have had you sleep there. Then the morning been like, oh, yeah, Bosco's here. Imagine putting it in a basement. Just like you put one of those like doors that dogs crawl through. That's how he gets (laughs) in and out. A little pee pad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should set that up. Yeah. But either way, I offered for Bosco to stay over, which is very nice, I thought. And he's like, no, it's okay. Uh, and then I forgot that last night, I think, was the Nate Oates. It was supposed to be. We, he was out recruiting. We got to so go. blew you off? No, couldn't make it work. In, he was, I'm not going to. We're not going to. blew you We off. don't want to give away who we're looking at, but he was in three different spots. And it would, he's like, it would have been late. I'll let you know in the afternoon. And then as it turns out, it didn't work out. Yeah. He's speaking at a clinic today. <laughs> Go that's check a, out Stepanax that, Clinic. That's a Shout quintessential out. blow off. Yeah, you got blown. No, nah, not really. It just couldn't make it work in terms of the time. I also told you that the living situation right now. I understand. Shit going on. I understand. So. But Nate Oates was the real reason you were sticking around. Because that is like way easier to take a Tuesday night flight and then be able to wake up, get yeah, some I was sleep. So, yeah, I was surprised. Yeah. Especially it like it way. doesn't cost Barstool anything. Right. Like you right. would just come and like stay I, in my I, house. Right. I did. I had that. I Rather than take a 4 a.m., I took a, a flight yesterday. Yeah. Ninety five percent was like the, the real stuff, but the f- dinner was yeah five yeah, percent was yeah, that yeah, as well. Yeah. But I think as soon as I said the ninety five percent, you kind of like okay. All right. Well, the so. offer stands. All right, sweet. You're welcome to stay. Sweet. I also need to do it because I know that there's gonna be a Stu Finer ask for that, so I got to be like, I already got Bosco. It's kind of like a oh. yeah. I'm just trying to. Yeah, I'm wondering you know. why you're being nice to me, but it's, <laughs> I'll take it. Be a team player. It's fine. Like uh, Bosco's got the because you. I don't think you could sell. No, the Stu, other no way. chance. No chance. Him 69ing in my guest <laughs> yeah. room? Fuck no. Gross. Oh, so gross. So I, I don't gross. know why. I have to burn the house down. Yeah. <laughs> it's a terrible visual, but oh. you know he would, and he would get on advisors the next day and be like, totally. I fucked doggy style like, in yeah, your house. Like I, I did came all over your Shut up, Sandy. This is fucking maniac. Be gross. Uh, all right, so, uh, shit. yeah, we, we had a good weekend, Bama. I actually... I thought the stadium was very loud. It was very loud. Now, now, Bama fans were saying, which I guess is a little bit of a Michigan vibe, because I said that th- there is rumors Alabama is a quiet stadium. And, you know, you hear Brandon Walker say it, and they were like, well, we don't get loud against Mississippi State. You come for big games. It's loud. Michigan is loud versus Ohio State. It's not loud versus a lot of others. So it, it was loud. It was an electric environment. Yeah. And I loved it. I, I thought it. It's what I kind of thought it would be. Like, you go to LSU, and it's kind of dirty, dirty south. Like, Alabama had a, a blue blood vibe to it. Yeah. So, you can see how they'd be such, like, rivals with that. But I enjoyed it. Um, you, you, you had a great it, take on the cowboy boots, by the way. Yeah, I don't think you, you can't go cowboy when you're playing Texas. You said it perfectly, though, because Bama, like, you know, people dressed up a little bit. LSU is, like, and I say this in a very endearing way, is like swamp creatures. It's the perfect rivalry for that for that ma- reason. Like yep. there are different fan bases playing in the same conference, playing not too far from each other, and it's like the perfect dichotomy. Yeah, um, no, I, I loved it. It was uh, I. I always love going. I mean, there's there is uh, obviously I'm Patriots first, but there is nothing like college football game days. Nothing. Yes. Yes. At big big games. We also had a very funny moment in the box. Who shout out uh, Travi for the boys set us up the people who sweet it was were the nicest people in the Very world. Nice. Like I talked to the guy forever. Really, really nice guy. Um, we were, Dave was in the corner talking to actually Saban's daughter and we were, we switched our bet to Alabama and Alabama scored and it was such a clear hold. And all these Alabama fans came running over to Dave being like, we scored, we scored, we scored. And Dave just looked at me and I'm just going like this. He, the, he, the, the, I'm like, flag, flag. And I was saying it to Saban's daughter. I'm like, they, Dan, like these people, the gambling brain. Like, I, t- I knew it right away. I, You actually weren't even doing this first. You did this. <laughs> yeah, I was just going like this. And I was like, it's people are running over. I'm like, flag, flag, People just flag, going crazy. Yeah. And I was like, stop cheering everyone. Just like, wait a little We're while. fucked. Yeah. yeah. Travi oh, also, big Alabama fan, idiot. Like, Saban's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Saban's daughter. He's the best. Though. Brought. They have this drink, the Yellow Hammer, um, which is like a special Alabama drink. It's like rum, pineapple. Saban's daughter bar- brought over these cups that were like custom Saban cups. They said Saban on them, and he, and he's like, I can get those at a grocery store. I'm like, <laughs> 
what are you talking about? It's like Nick Saban's daughter just. I, I was offering him one. He's like, nah, I can get that anywhere. It's like, I, I don't think so, dude. The other funny thing with Travi is for all the talk we had last week about how he was nervous about the suite, he told us that the only thing they didn't want us to say was, God damn it, because we're sitting there watching the game. And I hearing in the suite, we're sit- Dave and I are sitting in the front row with the suite owner, and I hear like, kill that motherfucker. And I turn around, and it's Travi yelling that. And I was like, what the hell, dude? He's like, just don't say God damn it. It's like, one that's line. That's the yeah, only that's thing it. they don't want is right. they're, they're God people. They don't want God right. damn it. I got absolutely ruined at a pizza review. I was Texas all week. In the, I mean, you can't. You have to place your bet on the games before you're there and not switch it because you drink the Kool-Aid. But this kid, he was telling me, the quarterback, he's like, look at this picture of the quarterback. You're telling me they're not going to win the national championship? It's just, what's it, Mil- Mildred? Milrow, Jalen Milrow. He just had a mean mug in the, in the like, team photo, and I switched my bet based on that. Yeah, and you then I switched throw. my bet based on that. My tongue, by the way, marble mouth. It's going to be a long day. I have uh, a, thing on, a sore on one side, canker, marble mouth. Is that herpes? It is a herpes. It is a, uh, I think it's like herpes A. Yeah, that's the old, yeah. No, a, a canker sores are herpes. Every yeah. human has it. Herpes can affect anyone. I've, I, when Pamela Anderson got herpes, I was like, damn, anyone could get it. Everyone has it. Yeah. Everyone, if you get a canker sore, you got herpes. Yeah. So I got herpes. All right, other, other topics. Uh, healthy debate debuted. I've said this three times. And I guess we're a little, I, I, I it's like, almost like a movie line. I've said it in private. I, and this is going to be a compliment. I've said, I can't believe I think Bosco has a show that may work. Yeah. I've said that, like, just whispering, like, to nobody in particular, walking <laughs> and saying, like, I think Bosco actually <laughs> may have found a, a found show. It. Like, I, now, I, I guess we disagree. I don't we think you can do yeah. two days a week for half an hour. So, well, I, no, we already bumped to an hour. All right, that's good. So, the reason I gave Bosco, and there's a healthy debate uh, between us, I said, you can always add shows yeah. you can never subtract if you start every day of the week and bosco finds out that it's just too much to work five hours a week he then takes the show away it's like this is healthy debate is now a failure because you're taking shows away i said do two two shows a week to start the minute you feel comfortable and feel like it's a hit start adding it the people want more yeah you can always give them more you it, can never i like when you take it away in fair See, that's what I wanted to just unpack it all, but we have expanded to an hour because the calls have that's been good. heavy. So, like, yeah, but calls s- would be heavy. Keep the calls heavy. Yeah. I would go half more. The problem with two days a week for me is it's very hard in my brain to know what two days they are because it's yes, just it, that's there's fair. no so then we gotta add. reason. So, we so, then add. They, so the option was four. No month, Friday. Right. Well, that was what we originally talked yes, about. Yes. Like yeah. What everyone had originally talked about. But you're traveling on Wednesdays. But Wednesdays we became we like jet here. ski is kind of part of the show. Thinking. Like I like that dynamic, and you've seen it work like in the business. I, Stanford's I, I, team I th- behind the glass, Monzo with with WFAN. I think you have. FVP, a, I, like, I actually think you have a good one and locked out with jet ski because yes, he became Jetsky's available at the right time and he can do everything. He's a beast. He's so an animal. I, the trailer I, was what really like got people like, oh shit! Like jet ski deserves a ton of credit for that. Yeah, so I you may be on to something. So you want them to add days? Because I, I do yeah, I, but I then, give this advice to everyone. Like you know, Brandon wanted to do like a two hour show mostly. Well Brandon sports needs start. more advice because yeah. he's gonna do less. Yeah. Brandon is not on nineteen but, shows <laughs> and you don't know where you're getting Brandon. But Dave, let me ask you this. If Wednesdays became because the studio space here is difficult or like Well, it's, it's only difficult for the next four weeks. As soon as we're in the new office, we have too many okay. podcast studios. Fair enough, but that is when you were starting. So if you went, if we took away Wednesdays and you went Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, isn't that more chaotic than just Monday, Thursday of like football season, primetime uh, games, you Monday, could Thursday? Do, you could do four days a week and no one. I, I think it's a good problem to have though, because like yeah. I said, you can always add. And I want. I would keep it. I think half an hour is good. I think half an hour. I, hour can. I think you. It's it's fast and in almost daily is what I. So would maybe do. add Tuesdays. To add Tuesdays and Wednesdays. I think Wednesdays here would be great. Okay, okay. Have so do it. So Monday, Wednesday, in Thursday. Person. Monday, Tuesday, here. Wednesday. Like, I, Thursday. I, I, like maybe if it, it, you could all, I don't know. What do you think, half an hour versus hour? Half an hour is tight, but it does keep it fast. It does remind me with the, the 
PMT originally we tried to do it a half hour in the first episode. We're like, that was stupid. Well, that makes no yeah, sense. It, well, it, for an advertiser perspective, an hour is definitely going to be where they want. But I don't know. There's something that it's there's like something about the the, the, the it's, it's like PTI it. w- yeah. works because it's yeah. always keeps moving in a half hour. So and maybe it's f- one topic. So it's like if you're going back to watch, it's like you don't have to consume a whole hour. It's like all right, His one, is topic, one topic, healthy debate. You no, know, what you could also do it's, it's in the th- process. I could Jack ton of credit he must have been fucking sober when he said it he was like you Jackie should just Benzos. run those what i originally thought was the one topic which we he have let worked. off that first one did you see the first one he did it was like is mahomes like, yeah no 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 that but that's was, just that's that was falling uh, back all right. to just being you don't like, know was, it's like you opening it's like opening we, a bar we, you don't know if anyone's going to show up when you when you're behind the sticks so like i said a couple of things then the calls come rolling in i'll give jack credit jack was like the whole show rather than just one topic of a guest should be you just run the gauntlet and things pop up but like, I, it's can't just, all the way which it, has worked those calls are great with hockey calls. overs yes yeah but uh, you but you have what did you think a will segment like Nebraska was a, was a big headline. Yeah. We went at it for ten minutes. You you have gotten better though at like because there is obviously your initial inclination with all these shows is to be like Bob Costa on the sports reporters yes. and be like what's Muhammad Ali's legacy. Yes. Um. <laughs> so you have gotten better at that, like where you realize that's not what people want to listen to. Yeah. What What did you decide I, on the Mahomes? Healthy I, debate. I think they're. I think he's. I think he's got potential to go down as the best ever. Okay. Yeah. Healthy debate. That was <laughs> good. Riveting. Good debate. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> But again, I've said it to you a bunch of times. Like people do listen to part of my take because it's super entertaining, but they also know that you know football. So like, there is an element I don't want to just. Eh, my people, record shows that I probably fair don't, enough. But, but I want yeah. people to know you do know sports to an extent a little bit. But yeah. I think this is a perfect mix. Yeah. So far. So so we're gonna extend it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, we think we do. I, I, I think that's the way to go. I think you you nail. I think the time. there's we studio figure out, space. Figure out every. Don't say studio space. We'll figure that out. That's we, not we your got issue. You. We got you. We figure out a time that nothing else is going on, and we do it. I, I, I. Oh, I, so you're not? Oh, okay. What? No. Are you? You mean move it off at four o'clock? Or move no, it, no, no. I, I, we got. There's nothing else that is live at four o'clock. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Then you own that time slot. Healthy debate. Healthy debate. So hour. Hours a lot. It's been yeah, a week. Th- hours 30, a lot. Yeah, I, I would do a half an hour. Yeah. By the way. You don't have to shut it off at half an hour, not on If someone's a great radio. call, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Like the yak goes, yeah. you, you, right. Yeah, you could just be like, it's a half hour show, and sometimes it goes, it goes right. 45 minutes. Yeah, we've minutes. had that mix. Yeah. So you, that, that's good, Bosco. You got a hit. I can't believe it. I've said it five times to myself. I, was, I can't believe Bosco found something. A lot of it matters. Like, again, you, you, you caught jet ski at the perfect time that he oh, you need that person who's an animal very good and you look at his track record of who he's worked with like yeah 730 no, he, he, i'm a jet ski fan i've been a jet ski fan ever since he was the only one who publicly defended me um with the the league, league leader in t-shirts <laughs> Yeah. When when he the soccer t-shirt. guys yeah. yeah when he did it and Jeski came out of clouds like this kid sucks no one else said Jeski so Jeski could suck and still say he's good but he is good so you so you're you're grinding Rico did Grind. you work a half day yesterday though no uh, I had to go meet with therapists got it that's good yeah I told you and I've told that I should have saved it for Pickham but this story was yeah the canter fit story so wait I, real quick advertisers. I'm not looking to, like, beat down the thing, but there is a natural segue. We do the two-minute drill to end the show. Oh. What fits for a two-minute drill? ISIS. Oh. Brick watch. Brick watch. Should I bust out the brick watch for the last for the two-minute drill? Yeah. Just naturally yeah, working like in? That, All right, perfect. Uh, yeah. Mitzi. That. Um, what's nice the Stella Blue? Was, <laughs> how's the Stella Blue budget? budget? I know you start. Oh, we'll, we'll sponsor okay. any show. Um, right. This story... I told it I should have held it, but it, it's it was. I, I couldn't believe I did it. But I was at Cancer Fitzgerald asked me to do. They do this huge charity event every 9/11. Cancer Fitzgerald's one of the firms that got hit during 9/11. I think they lost 652 people. Um, and and, and it, it, it's a positive day. Like people are upbeat. They have all sorts of celebrities there. Like McGonaghy's there. Eli Manning was there. Um, King Henrik was there. They have tons of people come through during the day, and you make trades, and, and the trade, instead of the commission going to Cantor Fitzgerald, it goes through the overall fund to help with victims, remembrance, all this stuff. So great cause. Uh, so I'm on the phone, and I'm just doing my, you know, it's almost like our 
telephone, or telephone phone, where yeah. you talk to the actual people. Um, so, so they raise the hand. The trader's like, hey, someone wants to talk to you. So come over. The guy's like, hey, Dave, I'm a rider. And I'm like, oh, damn. He's like, yeah, I've been a rider for three years. I'm like, you're a rider even when you tried to uh, kill someone with I knew. He's like, yeah. I'm like, you're basically a terrorist <laughs> on 9-11 day <laughs> in Cantor Fitzgerald. <laughs> and I, like, yelled it. And the second I said it, I was like, oh, I, I, I just can't believe I said that. Everyone stopped. <laughs> Luckily, I was around stoolies because there's a lot of people who have no idea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but to yell, you're a terrorist at 9-11 day at Cantor Fitzgerald, not good. It's one of those moments where we just, we live in like a bubble. Yeah. And then the, the outside world, you're like, yeah. oh, fuck. Yeah. Like, people might not understand what I'm saying right now. Uh, and Bosco could, actually did fight with ISIS. Yeah, I, well, that was in my head when he's a writer. The, the, the ISIS photos came up and it just... <laughs> The photoshopped. second I said it, I was like, I cannot fucking believe I just said that. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, fuck. All right, I have a couple other things uh, before we do that. Roback, 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 active wear. Bosco's wearing it right now. I wear it all the time. The the shorts, the joggers. The joggers are the most comfortable joggers in the world. Uh, the shorts have been incredible. Performance polos. They got sweatshirts. Perfect fall sweatshirts. Roback's performance polos don't miss. Neither do their sweatshirts. They are breathable. Nice stretch and are made to move in. In all honesty, Roback has been gaining traction big time. Roback's even working with some of college football's biggest stars in Cade Klubnik, Nick Singleton, and uh, Esteem from, I always screw up his name, from Notre Dame. Yes. Who's awesome. So use the code PIC on Roback.com for 20% off your first purchase through the end of this week. That's spelled R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. That's 20% off all polos, shorts, hoodies with code PIC. The perfect gear for football season. Make sure to jump on Roback.com right now. Roback.com, R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. Use code PIC. 20% off all polo shorts, hoodies with code PIC and the joggers. I am very much a fan of the joggers. Uh, I have a question. Rico, do you know Do you know the app Telegram? Yeah. Have you ever used it? <laughs> yeah, I've used it. Are you rearming via Telegram? No, not rearming via Telegram. So for people who don't know what Telegram is, can you explain it to us? I think it's like an alternate text service. Okay. I think it's similar to Snapchat. It like, like disappears the, it's like the and cheating, stuff. the cheating texting service. Yeah, it's a cheat. Yeah, where like they can't track you. It's yeah, encrypted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a little birdie told me that you have started using Telegram to get the riders all together. That's a theory. Yeah. What's going on? What's going on in Telegram? We had some guys with uh, Zoom issues, so they were like, just give me the notes in print. I was like, all right. So we're- The minutes? Yeah, the Can minutes. Can you read the minutes? No, not publicly. You have to, why? You got to be in on it. Why, well, but why would you use Telegram unless, like, that seems like a weird thing to choose unless you don't want- there's another organization that uses Telegram to communicate with their people. Who? ISIS? ISIS. ISIS. Yes. Okay. So you're, is this how you're t getting back in touch with the boys over in the Middle East? Get everybody on one thing. They don't limit you to 20 on a text in terms of iPhone. Okay. Shout out iPhone. So but what, what, what? How many people do you have? Uh, move it up. Me? No, he's got to oh. tap on it. Make sure it's on. The, yeah. wait, so Rico, what's. Yeah, uh, it's like question. a mass tech. It's like a tech service, basically. And but how many people are on this? You said you can't do twenty in a an iPhone. No, yeah, you can only. Do so 20. how many people are on this Telegram group? Well, now that they know I'm on, but uh, what? What they? Huh? What you can get mean? to fifty or a hundred in does the that, text. What does that mean? Now that they know you're on, that sounds that's like, not so how that we sounds weren't. Like there was a dormant group. Waiting for like their leader to return or something. Yeah, he's that's, back. That's and not now. A cryptid like, text message service. Right. That's. <laughs> a I think they call that sleeper cells. They knew the, the zooms. Sleeper cells are awake. Zooms yeah. are not. Zooms are not mandatory attendance anymore. We've shifted to Telegram, Telegram. where you can't be tracked. Right. How many people? <laughs> it grows every day. They're shifting over. How it's many people are? A hundred on the tech group tech. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. <laughs> There's a hundred hardcore riders on the encrypted text message service. It yeah. literally is how every like terrorist movie, there's like sleeper cells where the yeah. terrorists just sit there and wait for years sometimes until <laughs> they get marching orders. And you're, we and, and we're like starting to piece together like all the little pieces of Rico rearming. And like, okay, I guess you're on Telegram now. Like we at some point 
if this goes bad, we're going to be culpable because we didn't stop you. It always, you enough. go back and look at the files like they could have stopped it there, yep, there, yep. there. <laughs> The minute he went on Telegram, they yeah, should have shut yeah. it down. But what, So give me a couple mi minutes from the meeting. Who's Just snitching? Uh, don't take worry a about guess, it. Dude. Sully? Take a fucking guess. No. No, no not no. Sully. Are you in this? No. I'm not in it. They're in the room. Not. The snitches. Uh, Who, who's the snitches? Ebo and Benzo. Jack. Okay, well, is it is it a now? Let me ask you a question: Is it a snitch move if you accidentally invited them to your sleeper cell Telegram? Yes. Okay. That's like when. But that's uh, actually your fault. Jerry Springer wrote a personal check to Ahua. He got nailed. <laughs> that's how he got thrown out of all. Wait, it's but like you, you got Can't leave a paper trail. Right. That's on but, me. But you, but you did that. Yeah. They're not part of the group. No. But they were invited. Right. So that Jerry Springer doesn't. Wait. Yeah. Talking to Mike. So Telegram on desktop will send all your contacts a notification that you signed up for Telegram. That's how so like, I didn't even know. Yeah, Telegram because that's how they would like communicate to the viceroys. So I got a notification when Rico. Yeah, made when a Rico Telegram became <laughs> when he came back. It's crazy. Again. Like <laughs> our boy there, Silverstein of Silverstein, the Daily Beast. He's missing the real story. Like he's, <laughs> yes, he's yes, doing like yes. they're using like burner account. There's like an actual like. Terrorist yes, within the yes, organization, yes. sneaky rearming, and he has no idea. <laughs> Under his nose. Yeah. I was pissed Joe Yanks didn't get a shout out in that article. Joe, the burner. <laughs> He's been article? cutting up some clips. Yeah. Yeah. They've, they've been they using them. The names of the accounts, that would have been great. The funniest part about that there was article, a list, apparently. <laughs> he asked me for comment, and one of the questions was uh, on a two th 2020 Barstool Sports Advisors, you turned to Dave and said, We're going to have to put this on a burner so we don't get DMCA'd. <laughs> What did you mean by that? It's like, do, I mean, what yeah. do you mean? I said it. Do you so. have a problem with have, playing into it a little bit and having some fun with it for stool scenes? I have an idea. I'll run it to you after camera. But Gaz said, we're not by you. W w let's hear the idea. I no, because it, I mean, then I, it's, I, everybody's going to so it. stupid. We'll cut it. Is it a bit? I replied to him with BS1234561. So I mean, okay. All right. I think I'm willing. Well, no, you didn't. Gaz, reply. Gaz, you yeah. didn't. No. Me and Gaz, yeah, me and Gaz are on good Yankees terms. Fan. He's like, run it by, run it by Dave. Just make sure it's good. I don't know if he wants to play into it because it's all right, kind of we a legal it. thing. All right, we get it. Just we'll, do it. We'll cut it. All right. What's yeah, just idea? say it. Good idea, Bosco. Fair all right, enough. give us the minutes. Give us some minutes. You know, we're just a couple things. We're that just we're pumping them up. We want, we want targets. Like they're like, hey, I see spitting chiclets is going at somebody. Like, can we go? Can we? Go? Just wait, wait. Do the burpees. Do the burpees. Be ready to train. Is there nothing else? There will be a big moment for you in the like. It's like the guy in the bullpen who throws a hundred, but like. Just that wait. is literally, quite literally, terrorist talk. <laughs> like, just wait. There'll be a big moment for you. Like, you'll get your marching orders. <laughs> yeah, but it's for a cause of a guy who, for years, didn't want us to to work for him. And then in a t the true rebuild is when you come out of the office and go like this. Whoa. Oh, doing Keep that head. arm down. <laughs> and Keep we, that arm down. Unbelievable. Oh, my unbelievable. God. <laughs> What the I fuck? I don't think I raised dude? higher than you. No, he did. you I went were here. you were higher than that. I went here. You were way higher than that. Yeah, you're Anyone who knows sports, yeah. <laughs> meet on you're locked in your floor. basement listening to Pink Floyd fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah, popping yeah, purple that, pills. That and you don't, you don't know baseball. <laughs> you don't know that that's bullpen. Uh, yeah, that but arm you, was a you little did, you, and you waited to bring the right arm for two seconds. It yeah. was like this. Yeah. He goes left. Oh. Yeah. All right. Should have went right. Fair enough. I guess technically you would go like that, right? Isn't that what the H man did, the leader? Maybe. Like everyone else will salute to you. Yeah. Maybe you know. We need a we need a rider salute. All right, uh, that was all I had. Unless you guys had anything nope. else, let's do football. Yeah, I let's stink. Talk some football. I stink. Yeah. yeah. So records. Well, you you I need. My fault, Austin. Uh, for you. Well, who's keeping track of picks in here? Jack. Can you? I need like. I guess I have him. It's just I I gotta know his picks. I'm not being – he's it's, so bad. It's horrible. Yeah, it's bad. Send you all of this pitch separately. Yeah. yeah. I lost my national yeah. champion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah fuck you, by I'm going to tell you Dan, which ones really I really did have it. Like, I I, they I, also still I'll could go 12 and 1. And I'll know his losers. And they'll, I'll mark. Be like, send me that one. And you'll do it in here send while me we that record? One. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I'll say it as we go, like, send me that one. Send me that one. Yep. No, you mushed the Badgers. I never thought that they were a national championship bet, and you mushed them. And you I did that on purpose. I can't wait. To why would hear. you? Why, we were doing okay. Why would you, you? I saw that reply. You're like, why do you think I did it on purpose? But I said it in the moment. I was like, I know what you're doing. Yeah, I really did think they could make it. Well, wrong. I I said last week. The Blues is where about dreams that go to die. Yeah, when we so, talked about that game, I said yeah. I don't think that they're going to win this game. I'm I very nervous. Uh, so yeah, last week 
Rico five and nine. Dave eleven and four. Nice week, Dave. Thanks. I was fourteen and twelve. Also funny. I didn't capitalize because I bet so much money on the Sabalinka. Oh um, yeah, that oh, was bad. Shit, yeah. That was also great because Roll Tide Willie was. We were. Dave was just like dying with tennis in the middle of Alabama game day. <laughs> And Roll Tide Willie was just like, we're like, do you like tennis? He's like, if the Tide are playing. <laughs> yeah, <it's a> legend. <laughs> that guy is a fucking I'll legend. I for anybody if the Tide's playing. <laughs> Dead um, serious. I was terrible. I My ads were terrible. I also, in a, like, we've been doing this so long. We've been gambling so long. The, the sixth sense of gamblers, Dave nailed it. The two-lane game, I had Ole Miss. Like, they were up 10. I was covering because it was minus seven. They got a scoop and score. And Dave just said, you're going to need that later. It's going to come back to bite you. Because it was a meaningless scoop and score for my number. And then, of course, the Texas Tech Oregon. It was literally that moment. You can't, you can't waste, waste those. Yeah. Like last set. You you got your cover. You can't have a useless scoop and score. It it it, it hurt me, too. I, I had uh, I had Texas Tech as well. That, but, that was a joke. Yeah. Bosco had Split. Oregon. Split. Oregon yeah. in the under. Yeah. yeah. We nailed Colorado, though. What did you want to do? Did you want to watch Nebraska do that same shit? Or have fun rooting for Colorado? Sometimes the squares can win. Yeah. We, you said it, too. How can anybody not want to bet Colorado today? Well, Hank. Yeah, that was crazy. Hank went, went three respect. grand Respect. I mean, he's Nebraska trying to find the team. Line. Yeah, respect. Yeah, I, I, I mean, again, that's just simple football. The Because Sanders, Shador, is fucking awesome. And Nebraska quarterback stinks. You have to be a hundred times better than the other team when your court when the quarterback differential is that great. Yeah. Um, and then Dave, you lost your first. Oh no, you lost I, your. I lost. I, I'm done with it. I, I was going to go against Northwestern every week. They got smacked. Yeah. It's too bad because my other best pick, Cincinnati, was easy. Yeah, that was very easy. Uh, Rico, your own three on your killed. Yeah. I'm trying to be a rider again, but dude, it's, it's, we just can't. Well, I can't find a winner. Having well, a tough, tough start. Yeah, I can't wait. I, I'm, I'm gonna use you to my advantage this year. Um, sure. All right, let's do anything that helps. Thanks. Five games before we do that. Uh, what was I gonna do? What ad was? Oh, C, uh, CBS, calling all campers on CBS. Summer isn't over. It's only just the beginning of Camp Buddy games with the kids back in school. It's time for adults to have all the fun. And with Josh Dumel as camp counselor, it's gonna be a blast. We actually had Josh Dumel on PMT twice. Great dude. Great dude. And this is like the coolest thing he does. He basically for the last 20 years, he and his best friends from college and high school have been getting together one weekend every summer and just competing in random games together. And they made it a show. So it's uh, their friendships we put to the test. They battle it out in epic competition from giant beer pong to cornhole to the muddy buddy pit. The games will push them to their limits. And with $200,000 on the line, only the best of friends will make it to the end. Let the games begin. Buddy games with Josh Dumel. New series premieres Thursday, September 14th. So tonight, after Big Brother on CBS and streaming on Paramount Plus. Buddy Games, new series Thursday at 9, 8 central on CBS and streaming on Paramount Plus. Definitely support Josh Jumel. He's a, he's a good uh, dude and it's a great show. So check it out Thursday, 9, 8 central on CBS, streaming on Paramount Plus. All right, games. Games. I have tough card. Yeah, bad card. Bad Apple, card. It's official, yeah, I just got the tweet. Officially uh, Apple picking weekend? <sighs> it's a little too you early. You say that too, no, but no, it's, it's, it's a little too early. Too early. But the weird thing is you don't want to root for other weeks down the road and declare those bad. You get what I'm saying? Like, you would hope every Saturday is loaded. What? Okay. If I don't get that at all. All right, fair. Okay, I'll explain. Well, I mean, the schedule is the schedule. I Root understand, Dan. Week. What are you but, talking like, about? But, like, let's say in three weeks you look at it and you're like, yeah, it's okay. You shouldn't want to make that bad and say that's who, apple picking who's, weeks. Who's, who's, who's yeah, What are you talking about? It? Just people in general. Who's? Us. I want every week to be great. It, there you go. So then the way I look at that is in three weeks, don't try to turn a C card into an F and say that's Apple Picking Weekend. I don't weekend. know if what you, you're talking okay. about. Okay. Healthy, <laughs> Healthy debate. Healthy debate. I know, right I know now, what he's right now, it's okay. I'll explain. Healthy I have to be able to explain it. He's saying you're trying to turn the already got debate. two Healthy fucking debate. guys turned on me. You're trying to put Apple Picking Weekend in a box. Right now. No, no, no. 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 Right now, this week, we would say. Pretend you're on Telegram right now with your chair. I can speak for myself. Okay. Right now, this. Healthy debate. No, no. This card is an F. Correct? Yes. Okay. In three weeks, there might be a C minus card. You say it's a little too early for Apple Picking Weekend. Don't 
That's try the weather. no, that's yes, that's, fair that's enough. Literally, but, just weather related. Got it. But don't the try apples to, aren't on the. On I understand the trees that. Yet. But don't try to turn the C minus into an F and say that's apple picking weekend. No. And now we got two bad ones. Just what live are you with, talking? Just about? live with the bad weekend. What is he now? talking about? You're saying that we got to go apple picking when the apples aren't ready to be picked. That has nothing to do with football. You, the orchards aren't ready yet. Oh, because otherwise week zero be would be apple picking. See, I never go apple picking. It's like all still I'm saying summer. is you get what, like, like don't try to make two weeks late, bad. It's, and you say I'm not time. making to, to make trying it to make bad. two weeks bad. I'm saying people in general who there will be a week in October or November where it doesn't even have to be the full day. It could just be the 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 eleven o'clock oh, games, okay. the two thirty right. games. Be like, hey, here's a day that I don't have to be in front of the TV all day. Got it. And I can go do this. It's not like a we're not trying to make it bad. It literally, when you said apple picking, the answer is it, it's not really, it's not apple picking season. If it is, it's only like one variety and it's early. Late September, early October, that's just the weather. Okay. Okay. He's just talking all about I'm trying to say, I've heard weather. it all the time. Like, yeah, there's, you know, this the sandwich. Don't have two bad bites. Wait, Let's but, all have but, good, but what, good bites. What are you talking about? <laughs> Enjoy the football season. You 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 Correct. have to come to my defense here. Okay. You only get a certain amount. Wait, you only get a certain amount wait, of games. It's I'm fifteen not, weeks. This card, I'm it gonna stinks. still watch every game. Yes, but it stinks. Right. You're I think you're taking the apple picking as like a metaphor as opposed to like I actually like to go apple picking. Yeah, like I'm not gonna apple pick this. Fall. I never apple pick. Right. I do. I think you, you the way you should look at it is just go when there's one variety. Don't turn the C minus in a couple of weeks to an F. What don't you get? You are so dumb sometimes. I don't know what you're getting. I can't, it's like I can't go to a restaurant if it's closed. I can't. You go. probably can. <laughs> it's not apple picking. Season. Don't sell yourself short. Okay, whatever. I I, I can't. There, I'm not trying. I, I guess I'm just looking at, like, don't ruin two weeks. I, yeah, what, you, what are you talking what, about? What you're saying is there's going to be a week later on in the year where we're going to not watch and be like, well, it's apple picking week, even though it's, like, decent games? But I even think he's saying we're just going to say this is an apple picking week, like, as a metaphor of it's just say a way to say it's bad football. Right, like, you, if under your what you're saying, Rico, apple picking week is week zero. No, you're that excited for the kickoff. Though. Right, but those are the worst games. There's like six games. But it's you waited all summer for it. And it's pre-Labor Day. Right, you can't apple pick then. This yeah. is September 15th. It, 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 yeah, I guess I got turned on the because I don't actually understand apple picking. Clearly. Like, I don't go. <laughs> but all I'm saying is in a couple of weeks, don't just try to make that weekend. But we won't. We'll be honest about team, every car. All right, fair enough. Because teams could rise up in the, the one in three of weeks. Of course. Yeah, okay. What are you talking but about? But, like, it's there will be... Let's take a look. I'm not going to find a random date in October and be like, this card actually stinks even though it's good. No, I'm saying it is a C minus and you try to make it worse. How do you make it worse? By going apple picking. <laughs> <laughs> you just rule it out. All right, let's take well, a look. Like, How do we get top 25? Let me put this way. <laughs> let, let, let me put it this way. This Next week's album. loaded. No way. I, I Next week is loaded. 29th. Find I don't know code. what we're talking about. He's trying to find the apple picking weekend now. <laughs> find it, Rico. What do you got? That's Red River. You can't do that. Nope. That's loaded. <laughs> this is a Francesa bit now. This just started. <laughs> the 21st is low. That's what I'm saying. I mean, this just started, I think, by you saying go apple picking and i'm like it's not ready to it's go out yeah yet. It's, it's it's like go why well, don't go trick-or-treating it's like well it's not halloween that makes sense yeah it makes sense you you spun me on it you're right wait a couple of weeks i guess and then to dance well, point also if yeah just pick a certain couple of hours and then you miss those games okay but i think what you're hung up on is like you don't have to go apple picking oh i never will go apple picking oh tough guy no not I'm just saying worms Traffic, leaving the house. You're going to watch every game. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, this is apple picking weekend. Uh, Anyone who goes apple picking this weekend, tag us. Let us know the product, you know? Like, yeah, let us know how they Not are. all our varieties. All right, yeah, we'll see. Like, you should be able to take a pumpkin home from the, the apple picking yeah, orchard. Yeah, double dip. 
Can I finish? <laughs> you should be able to take a pumpkin home from the orchards and probably put it out right on your stoop or whatever the same day. We're not ready for pumpkins outside the stoop yet. When do you think fall officially starts? Healthy debate. I think it's I think like fall real real fall is October. You like it's baseball playoffs week is yeah, like that's I, like I'd the first that. like yeah. man this feels like, like obviously people say after Labor Day but it still can be like eighty five degrees right. and warm. And We're in like a like transition. Yeah, you should keep period. your pool open until the end of September. Yeah, it's a transition period. I feel like that first whatever it is like Thursday when they have uh, four MLB games. Yeah. In the afternoon and it gets dark at like. 545 that's like oh yeah we're like leaves fall. really haven't turned yet yeah should yeah. have talked about this at the beginning dan but how about uh pat bev just confirming that rico's the most skilled out of the big three what do you what do you mean rico was calling himself chris bosh yesterday oh and pat bev was like he was the best player on that team most skilled player on that team oh Right? I thought I thought you said that. Was it you or Pat who said that? No, most Rico's skilled? like I'm Chris Pat Bosch. Pat said, well, well, yeah, I, honestly, oh, yeah, yeah I said I'm Pat Chris Bev for so long. Pat Bev was talking nonsense by the end of it. You choked out Pat Bev? No, oh, it's, it's just not true. Yeah, it is. We're talking ball, talking sets. Roan was, everyone's involved. Different topics. He's sitting in the chair where my desk is. Well, he was standing next to you. No, before, early in the morning. He's right. sitting at that's the desk. My How point. was your breath yesterday? Chair. Was it okay? Yeah, it was fine. Okay. All right, good. Because, I mean, that's a long talk. You don't want to have bad breath. I keep trying to sell him on the Knicks. I was pissed he didn't go to the Knicks. Sure, that's a worthy conversation now that he's sure. signed on the Sixers. Yeah, fair enough. Did you, did it look like Pat Bev was in distress at all? Uh, I mean, Jay didn't. And like I said, he sold the company <laughs> like two weeks later. <laughs> Pat Bev's going to quit tomorrow. Yeah. It's like it just didn't work out. This one guy put me in a chokehold. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's get to some games. Bad games, but I'm going to watch them all. Uh, first up, LSU, Mississippi State. Mississippi State plus 9.5, over-under is 54.5. It's at Mississippi, It's in Starkville. Mississippi State kind of struggled with Arizona. They yeah, I had Arizona. Probably could have lost that game. I had Arizona. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Rico, I'll start with you. LSU? Blind. I just trust Brian Kelly a little bit more. I'm going to take LSU. Okay. Yeah, I like LSU. I think they bounce back in a big way here and uh, win big. I kind of like Mississippi State in this game. I'm going to take Mississippi State in the over. I also, these are the cards, going back to the apple picking discussion, when the games are even worse, that means I'm going to have like 50 bets. Yeah, you need the yeah. winners, too. It's going to be, a, like, it's gonna you be need insane. The winners. You, you need, need the, the winners. winners. I would like to find the winners. You need the winners in these more than the other games, right? To an extent, kind of, yeah, because Why? think of it this way. Alabama, Texas. A winner, Texas, though. What? A winner's a winner. I'm it is a winner, I, a winner, I, but I'm, it's, I'm, you're I'm less curious. prepared. Like, Alabama, Texas, you knew the feel. You knew you knew everything about that, watching this and that. I got it wrong. You're, the guys who were supposed to be on the undercard are now in the main event. What? You got it. It's harder to know a little bit more about those games. Counter- like, I didn't expect LSU and Mississippi State to lead the fucking show here. But, 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 it's not your games? fault, no, but... You know, that's it's where you're at. I'm just curious. Why do we need the winners more? I would like the winners all the time. I would, too. There's never a time when I need the – well, actually, there is. We, that, we, there we is need the winners need the more winners in this more. because in Alabama, Texas, we had a feel. All week. Yeah, all week. You So we you, need the winners more? I think in this one, when the undercard rises to the top, yeah, you need them a little bit more. It's no sense. Okay. He's making no sense. Am I, I feel like, honestly, I don't want – like – The Zoolander, like I'm taking crazy pills, but the last, since the apple picking discussion, I don't know anything that you're saying. What are you, you're always fucking confused. I mean, you're saying that you know more about those other games. Look at your record. But, but, yeah. (laughs) Oh, shit. But just, it makes no sense. Like, you know what was interesting in in Alabama? I thought Jack was going to be out of, out of touch because usually when, uh, there's an eight, uh, phrase with eight letters of roll. Blank. Usually, Jack wants to do roll face, you not roll a fucking time. <laughs> you said that earlier this week. That's the big show. Jack. Oh, Jack? you're using jokes? You test them out. You test them out with the pals. You work the material, yes. yeah? This is, this is the 9 that o'clock Apparently, uh, I heard from, I got birdies, too, that Jack's in the stadium. Smacky Jables again a little fucking, they're yelling at Jack from the rafters. Oh, well, listen, J- Jack and Spider did say to me before when we got to Alabama, they're like, look, if we f- if we fall in love, are there two seats open on the plane? I was like, of course. 
So I think they were walking around Tuscaloosa being like, you ever been on a private jet, baby? Oh, you should have seen him at the <laughs> Final Four. <laughs> We're gonna take a quick. We're gonna take a quick midnight trip yeah. back to Chicago. No name, no <laughs> name drop, no name drops. But there's a major, major TikToker out there who's from New Jersey. Uh, Alex may have Earl. gone to the U.S. Yeah. Open Alex this Earl. week, yeah. and Jack may or may not have pulled the most athletic move of his life at the Final Four. The rest of us are. Uh, you know, enjoying ball. Jack's like, well, it's over there, at section one thirty seven. He's looking at fucking screen grabs like a uh, bank robber of fucking uh, wherever we were in Houston to try to get into the arena. Fake. He's, he's photoshop. He's got Bob and Quiggs photoshopping Miami student IDs. To try getting the Pizza Hut. Shout out Pizza Hut section. Oh, there's water. Look at me. I'm skinny and malnutritioned. Of course, I'm twenty one. <laughs> You should see him whipping around in his bends. Oh, it's insane. He looks awesome. He looks awesome. All What's right. Up, you ever do a quaalude? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Washington, Michigan State. Michigan State. When it, what time is the LSU game? LSU's at 11 or, or noon <laughs> Eastern. It's early. SEC yeah, Network. Uh, Megan and Brandon will be streaming for that one. So watch, watch that stream. Uh, Washington, oh, Michigan makes, State. That, that makes me a little more nervous. Yeah. Early game. 11 local. I love Washington. Michigan State's dead. Oh, okay. Penix runs it up. Mel Tucker. Yeah, dead. Dirtbag. Do you. Now, all these Big Ten schools I, I, are turning I, into dirtbags. I have a. First of all, that headline is absolutely preposterous when I read it that the, you know, the sexual assault for harassment for someone he brought in for sexual harassment prevention. It is one of those kids, and I don't like little brother. You like. You have to let the details of that case play out. And and you, more than anything, like Mel Tucker's an idiot for even putting himself in that 100%. situation. You also have to at least mention that he has a $70 million buyout unless he's fired with cause. So it's like that is part of the story. Oh, uh, okay. It, All right. Now you jump to a gun right off the bat. But well, there are like. Yeah. Uh, All right. Fair and enough. I'm obviously sensitive to this type shit, but like he's blatantly saying, yes, I had a consensual relationship what is being said is a total fucking lie and she's saying no it's not and you'll go to court and you'll they'll both have their day but there's two very different sides to this story being told right now and again the buyout's huge is is whether you want it to be part of the story or not it absolutely plays into michigan state what they're like how this all plays out. So I, I agree. It's like one of those situations, like, can we just figure out what I, what exactly happened and then make the judgment? Fair enough. Um, so I'm taking the over in this game. Washington, I had Washington over last week, and they should have scored, like, I think they had, like, 800 combined yards against Tulsa, maybe. And they should have, that should have gone over, and it's just not finishing drives. But I like the over in this game. Washington's ele- electric. The Pac-12 is, has just the best quarterbacks out there. Eight ranked teams. It's unbelievable. Yeah. No, they are the story and of college even the football. Bad, like I think Arizona is bad. Deloria is like good. Yeah, He's a good quarterback. Yeah. What do you got in this game, Dave? <sighs> I'm going to take the points. Uh, it seems like it's a no-brainer to go Washington, but I don't know. I, I, I I'm not going to bet it. But for the purpose of the show, I'll take Michigan. State. And also, Mark D'Antonio is back on the sideline. He's going to wear a head headset. That I mean, I didn't know. Oh, that. they yeah. could rally. Yeah. That I didn't know that. Yes. Shit. I'm that, pretty sure that's confirmed, right? Can someone find that? that I'm, I'm, if D'Antonio's back on the sideline, I'm pretty they sure may win the game. He was like, "I'll do whatever you guys need," and then I think it's he's going to be on the sideline, like pseudo coaching. What's the coaching. over? Fifty-seven and a half. Oh yep. wow! And I give me that a switch. So that's switch. A, that's switch. a real associate switch. head coach. Yeah. Switch plus what? Sixteen, I think. Oh, sorry. Yes, he's he's going to be on the sideline. Yeah, yeah sixteen and a half. Yeah. Sixteen right now. I'm switch, looking at it. Switch, switch, over fifty-seven and a half. No, I'm taking the over. just over. I'm give give me over the sides. Over. Okay, next one, BYU Arkansas. <sighs> yeah, this might you might be right. This might be Apple picking weekend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give, me, give me BYU. I thought Arkansas was in a spot last week to smash Kent State because after week zero or week one, we were like Kent State's the worst team in the country. Arkansas. Maybe they didn't show them anything, but they did not put up a ton of points against Kent State, who was horrific. BYU was a little live here, spunky. It's a horrific trip, obviously, across the country. But just give me BYU. Something about Arkansas seems like they might lose this one outright. You think so? I don't know. Outright? Just something, something about Arkansas does not 
seem good. Put that on the card of circle that as Fair a, enough. as one you, you of You have the, every right to do I, that. I, I know. Put this as an absolute play against Enrico. I will take Arkansas. I will be betting this uh, with live bullets. Huge. I love everything Rico said there. And to do the opposite, I don't I don't he says things that I don't even he doesn't know what's coming out of his mouth. Like BYU is live and spunky. I don't know what that means. Rico doesn't know what that means. As an underdog, <laughs> BYU has always been. And no, I, this okay. is a different BYU team because you're talking about Arkansas str- not putting up a lot of points last week. I like the quarterback. He's back. BYU, um, w- week one versus Sam Houston State, 14 nothing at home, please. Uh, I think they at Arkansas, they get the run game going. They kill him. Um, and I love that Rico's against it. Yeah, uh, I am going to take the under in this game. It's an absolute – this is what he does. He builds it up. He's like, I watched them last week. They could have put up points. Yeah. No, Arkansas. Like He's oh. like, they didn't score last week. He he cannot separate one week from the other. It was the Oregon-Texas Tech and yeah. the Utah Baylor. It, 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 everything is life. I love it. Jack, make sure. I want I want the notification. Yep, before they came, yep. Or, uh, fair enough. I've been called. All right, BYU-Arkansas. I'm going to take the under – 47 and a half right now. I think it's going to move, which sucks because it's 47 and a half over is minus 115. All right. Uh, you got another one? What? Let me tell you about our friends at cars.com. Yeah. Cars.com is a leading digital marketplace that connects car shoppers with their perfect car, celebrating 25 years of helping shoppers research, find inventory, finance, and sell cars. Wherever life takes you, Next, and whoever you're looking to be, there's a car for that in cars.com. Up to 50,000 cars are added daily to cars.com. Shop over 2 million cars for 2 million possibilities. Find your next possibility on cars.com. Where to next? Okay. Now we got a couple good games. Night night slate, we got at least some good matchups. Uh, Pitt, West Virginia, backyard brawl. I know that neither team is ranked, but it is a backyard brawl. That game last year was phenomenal. Uh, let's see. The updated line right now is Pitt minus one over under is 50 and a half at West Virginia. I'll start. I'm going to take the over. This is a backyard bar- brawl over 50 and a half. I don't know. I don't know what I, I kind of lean Pitt, but I, I don't know. I'm going to go home team, just purely home team, West Virginia. Yeah. Rico. Uh, sorry. I was fucked up. I want to go. You okay? No, I'm looking at the spread. Damn, it's a pick'em. Um, I just said the spread. I know, I know, I know. Uh, Pitt. What, what were you looking at the spread? I just said the spread. I got it all in front of us. Pitt, I'm doing the lines it, yeah, as of right business, now, yeah. so we don't get any funny business. USC minus six and a half. You never. Minus 210. Yeah, I know. I don't know the big games as it's going. So no, but he I just needed it. In front that's of me. the thing. Yeah, he I got it. I got it. I literally. Pitt. You see this? Pitt. See that? See that? I have the. Fair enough. Have the lines. He says it. Pitt. Pitt. Okay. What's the line? One. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Last game, Florida, Tennessee. Uh, let's see. Updated lines. Florida plus six and a half. Over under is 58 and a half. This game is, I think it opened at Florida plus eight. So it's gone all the way down to six and a half. And I, I agree with it. I kind of liked Florida when they were plus eight. Obviously, I missed that. But I feel like... I feel like Florida will be in this game. I didn't. I Joe talked to Milton stinks. I talked to Big T and I was like, he "What happened last week?" Stinks. Because they kind of struggle with Austin P. He stinks. And, and he, remember, it was my quarterback, Milton Tough. We sold the fucking t-shirts. He stinks. He throws a fifty-yard pass at the same velocity of a two-yard swing pass. He stinks. I got to take Florida based on and Joe. That's Milton Graham Mertz, stinking. though. I. <laughs> That's Graham Mertz. It, it, listen, if Florida's catching six, uh, if Florida's giving six, I take Tennessee. Whatever, to, I just no, I I can't bet on Joe Milton. Can't. Okay, Rico. I think he stinks as well, but there's some element of Tennessee. Just all those years of Florida owning them and the jokes and Spurrier and all that shit. Well, that's well, they they exercised the demons yeah, last year yeah, too. Yeah, I. The game means a ton still to Tennessee, and it's stringing together wins. Where do we see the rival? Like both teams, what it means a lot. Okay, Dan. Oh, I'm sorry. Tennessee, this is a rivalry Fl- game. Who, own, who? All right, who's owned it for the last 25 years? Florida. Okay. If Tennessee, who can won get, last year? Tennessee. Got it. If Tennessee can get a momentum of two in a row, three in a row, like they're building. I, I, what is the record of the last five? Is it four? And, I don't even know. I'm Let's four see. and one. Florida. I mean, versus, Florida hasn't been like good for a long time. 
not Tennessee. that Tennessee has. But. I know Tennessee pulled that upset, I think, in like 18 with that weird field I'm goal. looking at it right yeah. now. Florida versus Tennessee wins PDS. So that is, let's see, full game list. Uh, close. All right, so we've got Tennessee last year, then Florida one, two, three, four, five years in a row, then Tennessee in 2016. So, yeah, it has been – Florida. It has been Florida. Let's see. It feels like Tennessee's won twice out of the last like yeah. And then historically, didn't Florida years? win like yeah, like ten in a row? Well, you're, going in a row. The, you're going to the Spurrier. The, Florida the, actually didn't yeah. win that many in a row. But the, it's the Peyton Manning quote from Spurrier, like the what was it? Citrus, citrus Bowl. Bowl. Can't spell UT without citrus or something. Florida won a ton in. Uh, your I think what you're thinking of from nineteen or sorry Tennessee from nineteen sixteen to nineteen fifty three, they went undefeated. <laughs> Yeah. Fair so enough. that's that's pretty dominant. Uh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I think dominant. as bad as Milton is, Tennessee may just finds a little more inspiration here. I don't love Florida. Uh give me Tennessee. Okay. Uh, what? It's just the things he says are so I don't know, network like I here's Napier's you, not that good of a coach. You either. may be right. You may be right. right that like Tennessee beats Florida by thirty. It's not going to be because they find a little more inspiration. That's just your little okay. lines get me. Like, he just says these little lines that have nothing to do with anything. Well, you were never in a college football locker room, so. <laughs> what, you're counting yours? Got him. Got him. Yeah. I mean, I have been in a college the, football locker the, room. The issue I think. Not with, with the pads on. <laughs> I have. Might as well be a. When? Michigan. What was that? They, I put the pads on. <laughs> was that video out there? Yeah, I got the helmet pads. The issue, Rico, <laughs> is nuts, dude. you. So, like, I don't know. I'm picking blindly in this game. <laughs> that, I don't know right. any that, research. I, I try to get. Some I don't really do wrong. any research. He stuffs reasons <laughs> right. that make no sense. It's okay to say I don't know. Uh -huh. I'm just taking this side. You, you have. You try to do the reasoning that makes no sense to then get to the. Pick. Try to put my myself. Like I'm in taking there. the over because I'm watching the right, game yeah, yeah. and I'm taking the over. I right. try to put my, my myself in their shoes, the players' it, shoes. It, it, it's like you um, <laughs> you just don't think people are paying attention, or you try to slide <laughs> things by. And and I wish I could let them slide by. I tried to, but you just say things that I know make no sense. It's like I gotta say it. Oh. BYU, they're spunky. Like what? They are spunky. They're spunky. Oh, uh, so I'm going to take over 58 and a half here. Uh, okay. Ricky, you want to do the last ad and then we'll do our cards? Uh, factor. With the busy fall season early in swing, you might be looking for wholesome, convenient meals for jam-packed days. Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit, can help you fuel up fast with chef-prepared, dietitian approved ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time, eat well, and stay on track with your healthy lifestyle. Too busy this fall to cook but want to make sure you're eating well? With Factor, skip the extra t uh, trip to the grocery store and the chopping, prepping, and cleaning up too while, you uh, while still getting the flavor and nutritional quality you need. Adjust your stride this autumn without missing a step. Choose uh, from 34-plus weekly flavor-packed, fresh, never-frozen meals ready to eat in two minutes. Level up with Gourmet Plus options prepared to perfection by chefs and ready to eat in record time. Treat yourself to upscale meals with premium ingredients like broccolini, leeks, truffle butter, and asparagus. Looking for calorie con uh, concise options during the busy season? Try delicious, dietitian approved calorie smart meals with around or less than 550 calories per serving this September. Get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered to your door, ready in just two minutes. No prep, no mess. Head to factormeals.com slash Rico50 and use code Rico50 to get 50% off. Is that that's, actually the, the code? Yeah, that's code Rico50 at factormeals.com slash Rico50 to get 50% off. I need a big week, boys. I'm, I've been... Uh, I'm nervous because I didn't capitalize to the level I should have last week, and I was pretty fucking good. But my biggest bets, Sabalinka and the Patriots. I need a big week. I'm 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 already licking my wounds, and it's week three. It's a bad spot to be in. Yep. I I had a moment last night where my wife was buying shoes. I was like, "Oh, those are expensive." She's like, "You know, our biggest expense is your gambling." And I was like, "What?" And she's like, "Do you gamble more than fifteen thousand dollars a month?" And I was like, "I was like, I got to go to bed." <laughs> <laughs> like, this conversation's I don't, know, I don't want to have what? this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> she got me very quick. It was a, a like a total Uno reversal. Say that in my good ears. I was just like, "Fuck, damn it!" 
Uh, okay, Rico, you want to do card? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's been tough. I think you got to sometimes go back to the well with what works. Let's go to the list. Wisconsin. Yeah, let's go. Wisconsin list minus 19 and a half. Bama minus 32. Nebraska. Wait, what, is the, what is the list again for it's people who don't know? Power five programs coming off of a loss playing an inferior opponent. Got it. Far inferior opponent. You can't far. just say if Alabama was playing Mississippi State right now, they're inferior, but they're not far inferior. Conference game's out. It's got to be non-conference. Wisconsin minus 19 and a half. Bama minus the 32. Nebraska minus 10 and a half. Arizona minus the 17 and a half. And A&M minus the 30. You know what? Shout out Danny Boy Kane. Miami put it on. Hold, hold A&M. Give me A&M first half when that comes out and give me the over 53 and a half. For A and M, why? What? 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 I wrong just, there? What? Thirty six and a half. I wonder if they're going to show them enough late. Like I think they but get. Is, are you doing the list or you're not? Yeah, doing I am the doing list. the list, then but the, the put better. It on there. I think the better option is the first half. Okay. Well, you can't go back and yeah, forth on the list. You can't. You, the list is either the list nah, or the list. No, it's my. No, list. it's not it's my but, list. It's my list. No, but you can't. Right, you know what? A and M. A and M. Thirty six and a half. If you, you pick first half too. Yeah. If you pick and choose the list, I think I'll probably add. I think I'll add some of these first halves as well because Bama. So first half game and over. For A and M, yeah, and then I'll add some first halves with that. I like. I'm surprised this didn't make the card. This should have made this card honorary because we talk about this game on Pick'em. It seems like every year somehow, and I'll be shocked if Dave doesn't have a side. Is it Red Bandana? No, Colorado, Colorado State. Oh, I feel like that's. We an don't old... talk about that every year. Definitely We've don't. Definitely okay. not. <laughs> what are you talking about? Not... Colorado's been terrible. Okay, not. I, I would. It never makes the full card, but somebody always has an opinion on the game. Well. We... Right, oh, well, what we're that, doing right oh, now. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Like we just, so why oh, you mean you were shocked we didn't talk about it? Because the card is that bad. It's no, no, but, but, but you said you, you said <laughs> it's just a pick it, You said game. someone like, usually you, Nowhere else it. is UMass getting coverage. We talk about UMass. We talk about dead mascots. Colorado, Colorado State is a perfect pick em. It should be a pick em bowl. It's a pick em game. No. But it's been but so it, bad. It, I know, we have but not we always have a play up. on it. All right, but, over 59 But you said on... He's on the cards. Yeah, I do have it as a I have pick. A, I have a play on the game. Yeah, but that's good. It's, good. it's all different. It's Dion's at Colorado. He's made traditions. it a little more. Now, I will say, we've been doing it for a long time. I do feel like this uh, used to be a week zero slash one game where if it was, we'd probably talk about more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they uh, used to play. They would play. Uh, is this in uh, Denver at Mile High or they play home and home Colorado. now? It's Colorado because we almost went. That, that's that, right. Game You're day right. is there actually this week. Yeah, the and – I think, there I think Gus week? Johnson just lives in Boulder now. Yeah, right. They just they, and Joel, Joel Fox Platt. has done all three games. Uh, Oregon, Hawaii, over 68 and a half. San Jose State, Toledo, over 57 and a half. They got two good quarterbacks. Uh, and South Alabama, plus the seven against Oklahoma State. Okay. Dave? I'm going to keep uh, – it, it, for some reason, I have an absolute mental block against the quarterback's name. Uh, who – what, get what team? The, the lumberjack from from Notre Dame, Sam Hartman. Sam Hartman. I keep saying it. He's so good. Um, I'm gonna keep betting on Notre Dame. I think Notre Dame, and he's still sleepy in the Heisman like race. He's Agreed. Great odds. I don't. I haven't looked at their schedule, but all they need is one big win in the Notre Dame effect and his effect. He's gonna rock it up there. I think Notre Dame's in this all the way to the end because he's that good. Um, Notre Dame minus 34 and a half against CMU. Um, Cincinnati, I had him last week. I have a minus 14 against Miami of Ohio. I could be doing a little bit of a Bosco. You know what? I, I am. Take that off. What Nothing was that there. game? Miami of Ohio, Cincinnati. Okay. I was overreacting to, to Miami Cincinnati. beating Miami of Ohio, but Miami's pretty good. Um, I had Toledo 57 over 57 and a half against San Jose. Rico also is on that. I'll change that to the under. Um, <laughs> it's 58 and a half. So 58 and a half. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Um, UNLV plus four and a half at home against Vandy. UNLV is getting better. They were like the worst team ever a couple of years ago, but they're starting to turn around a little bit. Arkansas minus eight against BYU at home. Oh, oh, this is like my office. Oh, no, you clicked it with your back. Kentucky minus 25 and a half at home versus they Akron. They struggled too last week. I had Kentucky. Kentucky yeah, that was weird. Uh, West Virginia minus one against Pitt. I had, and I loved it, loved it, loved it. The over in Oregon, uh, Hawaii, over 68 and a half. Rico, you had the over. I will go under. Um, but you understand now I'm in a, I can't win. 
Like if yeah, I do, you know, you can win if you get it right. You win. If I do start turning it around, you're gonna be motherfucking me. No, I'll stop doing it. Oh, okay. All right. But then you I can only control about yourself. You, yeah. You should root for yourself. I got you. But but now your honest yeah. picks. But but to me, it, it the when I end up on something I love that obvious like Hawaii Oregon, it's like ooh, I love it, sixty eight and a half. And then I hear a square, put it on their card. It it in this. I'm not even insulting you. This is smart game. It's like that is a red flag, an alarm. You are a square, Dave. You got squared. The biggest square in the history of Earth is on the squarest pick there is, and that's why I reverse it. Fair if enough. you change and you start winning, I'll stop doing it. Um, the over in Colorado, Colorado State, 59 and a half. If anything's going to be sneaky for Colorado, I could see this being I mean, they're way better, but – let down a little bit. Um, LSU minus nine and a half, Mississippi State, and uh, Michigan State plus sixteen at home against um, who are they playing? Washington. Washington. Okay, my card. Again, I need this. Uh, you already have my Mississippi State, all that stuff. Uh, Maryland minus fourteen and a half against Virginia. Memphis minus fourteen and a half at home against Navy. I think that's Friday or Thursday. Friday. Yeah. Toledo minus eight and a half over fifty eight and a half. So I'm with you there on Bos- Bosco. I'm with you. Iowa State minus three at Ohio. Uh, what did you guys think about the Florida State line? Is it a trap? What is it? Twenty five and a half against at BC. No, I think BC is terrible. BC is terrible. It's a it's sleepy a place early to game. play. It's an early game. I'm Wait, gonna stay away. Is this the red bandana game? No, I don't think so. It's I, that, I, that that theory they haven't done good anyways. But it that, it jumped out to me, and then I was like, "Wait a second, am I just falling for this?" BC is bad. I, it's just a huge spread. So. Yeah, uh, Alabama minus thirty two and over sixty one and a half. Uh, I have the Mississippi State LSU over fifty four and a half. ECU App State over forty nine. Uh, Houston TCU over sixty three. I'm actually going under. I'm against the guys. I Colorado, like Colorado State under 58 and a half or 59 and a half. Houston. Uh, TCU over 63. Colorado, Colorado State under 59 and a half. I'm doing this because it, they're college kids and it feels like it has to. I, I Colorado's going to win this game, but there has to be at least a little bit of deflation at some so, point. So I, I said that in my pick, but I think it's going to go the other way. I really? Think that, I think it'll Bad be a high defense? score. Yes. Yeah. Norvell uh, is with Colorado State. They switched over to this freshman quarterback, and they put up 21. All right, strike against it. I'm Wazoo. not going to take that under. I, I kind of like that over. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to take that game. Nevada, uh, Kansas, over 58 and a half. Uh, and then I'll just do my mortal lock. I'm doing the Washington, Michigan State over 57 and a half is my mortal lock. I think Washington will light it up. Light it up. Uh, and I will have ads. Yep. There will be ads. A lot of ads. I assumed. This is going to be a Saturday morning where I'm like, I like everything. Uh, Dave. Wait. Did I say Troy minus two and a half? Troy minus two and a half. James Madison just beat Virginia. Huge win for them. They have to go to Troy. I just feel like that's a, a, a spot that I like Troy minus two and a half. I like that pick. Um, Dave, you're more to lock. I'm going to go... UNLV plus four and a half at home versus Vandy. I think they beat Vanderbilt. Oh, I just had a flashback. Remember that guy? Yes. Oh, he fucked us so bad. Yep, I do. That guy, we were we we did a live show, a live stream in Denver. No, didn't we win that? No, I think we lost. No, it. I think we won that. Did we? Yeah, we won that. He was yeah. all in UNLV. Yeah, we won that. Okay. Uh we were we thought we were gonna lose, so we we're motherfucking about we won that. Yeah. And then uh all right, so you have UNLV plus four and a half. Jack, I'll I'll finish three. Uh Washington minus sixteen and a half. Okay, Washington minus sixteen and a half. Hank. Michigan State plus sixteen. I like Ooh, that. Ooh, sixteen and a half. Zoopy. Is that just a D'Antonio pick? Yeah, I like that. I'm going And also, wait. We should Hank, you're gonna you have to be honest here. Well yeah, I'm doing I'm I'm trying to find a big ten, you know, big ten team this week is Michigan State. So he's going to a Michigan State bar. Oh. So he's. Do you know which one you're going? Are you going here or at Michigan State? No, here. here. Oh, okay. Fuck you, fucking. Did I, we, yeah. There's one right, right down the Shugging road. Shugging for fuck. Tin Lizzie's it's drivable. Yeah, Michigan I State. walked right by it. Had a state flag on it. Oh, Tin Lizzie's has a spot. In, had a spot in New York. That's the one I've heard. I don't know. I don't know which one I'm. They going closed to though. That one's good, Hank. I used to live across the street from there. Uh, Zoopy. But that is, you have to admit, well, that's bias, Hank. Yeah. What are you laughing for sure. about? Tim Lizzie's a spot in New York. It closed. 
Cousin owner? Healthy debate. No. I don't know if it's the same spot. No, there's a bunch of Tim Lizzie's. Yeah. Generally in college towns, I thought. Yeah, I don't know. All right, Zoopy. I'm going Penn State 14 and a half over Who, Illinois. Illinois at home? Is it Penn State at home? It's away. Away. Okay. Uh, Ebo. Yeah. What is it? Uh, Mississippi State plus Mississippi nine State plus nine and a half. Rico. Austin doesn't pick? Austin, you want to pick? Yeah, go ahead. True. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I mean, Inclu- inclusion. Well, it, yeah, no. It, Instead of squeezing people out, maybe I bring new okay. people to the list. Austin, Austin what's your pick? I've never, you don't bet, right? <laughs> no, forget. No. no. Austin, what's your pick? You got, he no doesn't pick. have a pick. No Good. Pick? Yeah. No. All right. we'll put, make sure he's on the standings next week. <laughs> zero on zero. <laughs> it's just so Rico right, knows inclusion. he's not getting squeezed camera out. camera guy got a pick? Just give you a fucking pick, Rico. <laughs> what's your pick? Rico. All right. yeah, Michigan right. to cover. Rico. There you go. All right. Just give you a pick. You want to go down on the street and just find someone? Yeah. K-State minus five. Against? Mizzou. Kleiman's my guy. Will Howard's my guy. They go get it done. Got to go to your friends when you're really, really bad. Will Howard's still there? I mean, uh, I have to take it because I've been riding Rico's I like mortal locks. And yeah, we got to get a win. We got to get on the board. Can't go over. Yeah, I have to take it. I've, I said go that over. I'm going to be a rider until he – I I can't fully be a rider until he wins me money. Yes. And you're 0-3. I've taken every single one of your mortal locks. No, let's get on the board. Let's get K-State. Let's get K-State. K-State. Uh, okay, good pick em, boys. Uh, we'll see everyone next week. Good luck to everyone. Apple picking weekend. <laughs> go yeah, out. Yeah, tag us. Tag us in your apple picking, tag Rico, and tune into Healthy Debate, which next week will be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Yeah, the only thing is here. We're going to find a spot here. We'll be okay. Uh, again, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure that All you right. are set up here. All right. Like, no, I will, you got it. Okay. You got it. And if Jackie you, on the ones and twos. I'll be your jet ski in Chicago for your Wednesday show. I don't want to. Uh, oh, you don't want me? Okay. No, I don't want to change it up if it's working. Don't change anything just yet. You're just gonna so you're going to bring yourself? jet ski? Mm, I don't know. Are you going to stay at my house on Tuesday? Potentially. Can that get zoom can that get Can I get zoomed in or can we pat can he patch in the callers from New York to a spot in Chicago? We have to figure that out. Yeah, I know. I think Stella might bite you cuz you give off bad vibes. 100%. Like I'm just saying that right now just a heads up. Like she 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 doesn't bite but she like will aggressively bark at people she thinks have bad vibes so that'll be a big test for you fair enough huge test uh okay good pick em, boys